Yo, what's really going on, guys? Um, so this is my first time actually doing a showdown live. It's your boy J Dizzle, aka JD. I'm coming at you with some new hot. You know what I'm saying? You know how I do. Uh, first, let's get to the team, man. Uh, right now, this is what we're gonna be running. I've been running this for about five, six games. I lost about three of them, to be honest with you. But um, I used this uh, this Volcarona just because I seen it in uh, in a couple games, and uh, this is, was the was the most optimal set for uh, um, for a defensive Volcarona. I'm running at 248 HP. You know, that Stealth Rock number, 192 defense, and then 68 speed. I have no idea why I'm running 68 speed, um, but I found that here. And let's actually look for it real fast before I start them, start playing and start to wonder why. So, Bolt, this is the set that I'm running. Boom, hopefully it works out. It has been pretty nice as of late. Uh, next, I'm going to run with this Rotom Wash. This one dude told me that this Rotom is heat, so I decided to run with this Rotom. 248 HP, 204 defense with the bold nature, and a 56 speed. Again, not too sure with 222 hits, but hey, it's a good number. Um, Volt Switch Hydro Default for Volk. And then Willow Wisp for those physical attackers. Then I'm running that uh that Lando with uh leftovers, earthquake, U-turn, HP Ice, and Stealth Rock. Just your standard defensive Lando set, but with the U-turn. And then I'm running Scarf Superior. Um, really good late game cleaner if you can. Uh, sometimes I find myself sacrificing him for the greater good. Normally get off a of glare or a defog before he goes down. Medi Cham just in there to start the match off with the fake out. Um, you know, self explanatory, enough said. And then Mag, shift gear with the floor cannon. Um, I do find myself sometimes wishing I had Ice Beam, but we're just going to run with this set and see how it works. So let's get into it. Let's go home and let's start it up, fam. Okay, so Zero Aura is our first match. Let me just go ahead and. Uh, ignore these cats so you know off off top it looked like Serp is not going to be able to do much he has a Heatran a Tangrove that goddamn flying bird named Tornadus I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with that so I can start the match off with Medichan but I am actually predicting him to lead off with um, that Tornadus so I'm going to just go roll him <laughs> I still got plays, y'all. I still got plays. We just gonna go ahead and hit the willow. Yup, hit that willow on that. And then um, he may go for toxic. He may go for scout. So I'm actually going to go into mag. Take the toxic. Now he about to go for the EQ. So I can just switch right into serp. He went into Heatran on a double. Good play, good play. So right here, I might just take the time to get in my Lando. Set up my own rocks. Oh, shit. He's running the Inferno Overdrive set. So, um, damn. Okay, so at this juncture, I just need the Earthquake. Yes! Got the magma miss. Don't run magma if you don't want to miss. Got lucky there. Feeling really bad, but hey. And then I got this guy. Oh, man. Got the W, man. That was unfortunate, but I'll take the win. Upload it. Share it. You can watch it. You can learn a thing or two. We're going to find another one. See how, uh, how many we can get in a row. So this guy's running a zero aura. Or the Zera Aura. I like to just call it Zorora, even though it don't spell Aurora. It's R A. It should have been Zorora. But anyway, so he can either lead with the Lando, the Zorora, or the Mew. Um, I'm really thinking that Lando is good 
for me to um, lead off with. So I'm gonna just go ahead and hit that. He goes into the trend. I'm just gonna go straight for the EQ. I have no time for predictions. I can just get up my rocks, but just seeing from what that last heat trend just did to my team, um, you know, I, I really need this thing gone if Serp has any chance of doing any type of damage. Um, and if that's an assault vest, Magierna, then um, Serp is still pretty much uh, buns. But if I can get rid of those two steel types, Serp can go to work. So uh, right now he's just thinking, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, and uh, ignore this guy and ignore spectators. So, you know, he, yes, thank you. Good first play. He goes into the Mew. Mew's probably just gonna come out and try to ice beam me or set up some rocks. So I'm gonna just go straight into Volk. He went for the Will-O-Wisp. Now I can go ahead and set up a Quiver Dance. Get up to plus one. And I don't really see anything stopping Volcarona. Um, get up to plus two, it might be GG. Get up to plus three, it is GG. So let me go ahead and roost up. And then, uh, yeah, it's been, it's, ah, uh, team is decent. Not the best team, but it has been decent. Um, I'm not going to play with this Lando. I'm just going to go straight for the Inferno Overdrive. I don't want to miss a Fire Blast because that is pretty much the only thing that can want to KO me with Stone Edge if he has it. So, got another easy win. I'm going to go ahead and upload this one as well so you guys can watch. Maybe you to learn a thing or two. Um, I'm an old school player, you know what I'm saying? So, it's... it's um. The game now, okay, let me compare it to the game back when I first started off in competitive. I started off in 2006, so in competitive, um, it was more so Wi-Fi battles. You will find a, a match on SPP Wi-Fi, which is Cerebi, um, you know, or other uh, different forms and, and things of that matter. I remember Pokemon Online. I remember Shoddy Battle before it was Showdown, you know. Um, you would be able to find matches there as well. I didn't really play too much um, competitive on the computer per se, but um, you know, online Wi-Fi battles, Wi-Fi battling back in 07, 06, 07, um, just just competitive in general was a much for much much more fun game. Um, you know, you you had the the surprise element. You didn't know what your opponent was going to bring because there there wasn't no team preview. Um, and uh, it just was really something that was that was it wasn't too stressful now it's like you see the team preview you gotta look at your matchups you gotta see where's your weakness what can you do to beat them um, you know and right now just looking at my team I see my superior can do a lot of damage to this guy if I can get rid of that Cartana uh, and even then I don't know how much a Cartana can take a plus four so stack attacker just might be that trick room variant Cartana might be a, scar a scarf Lando is going to definitely get up rocks that zero aura is probably banded or that uh, work upset Alakazam CM Keldeo can either be specs or scarf um, I know specs isn't really a set that many run now just because of Ash Greninja, but I actually like the spec set. It is very surprising and it hits like a goddamn truck. So with that being said, um, I don't really have a switch into his Keldeo. So I think I need to start off with Rotom. Yeah. And he started off with his Lando. So straight off the bat, I'm just going straight for the Hydro Pump. Uh, nothing on the scene really wants to take this hit so boom just knocked him down a nice bit and then i'm gonna go for that vote switch and then from here once i get this vote switch going because there's nothing he can do to one hit ko me per se uh, once i get this vote switch going i'm going into serp ah nice nice play nice play indeed um okay so Still, I don't think it's anything he can do to, to hurt me. So I'm just going to go straight for that U-turn. Predict the switch. In comes the, the Keldeo. And then I'm going to go ahead and just start Leaf Storm and some shit. Um, Leaf Storm, he doesn't have much of a Leaf Storm switch in. Yeah, that's not really a switch in. And then I think it 2-hit KO'd anyway. So 
down goes a Cartana. He just might get swept by Superior. And just like that, man, it's it's that's how easy the game is now. It's it's definitely something else, man. Superior out here dominating. Uh, Quiver Dance, Volcarona can't be stopped. In comes the stack attacker. He might just trick room and explode or just get one AKO by a Leaf Storm. So I'm just going to drop the GG in the chat. Um, I'm very cocky, as you guys may know, like back in the day. But if I can just hit all my Leaf Storms, that's game. So really easy. Scarf Superior, very underrated, very underrated Mon. Um, he's just going to go ahead and Leaf Storm the rest of his team. And you know choice scarf leaf storm i would definitely recommend it uh very good very good pokemon very good pokemon indeed and there goes the 6-0 sweep very easy didn't even have to get up rocks and i'm going to go ahead and upload that one uh and we're just going to keep it going we're just going to keep the games going uh till i until i basically catch an l you know i stole this account from someone named bron saint this person was playing online i actually played against him earlier today and um i beat him and i watched a couple of his games afterwards and then i just asked him i was like hey man can i get that name off you bron saint i don't know why um gold is my favorite color i could do gold saint golden saint something but i just like how it rings but anyway so stall is coming golden raspberries just join the match i'm just gonna go ahead and block both of them uh i don't really play too good under pressure to be honest but i am pretty decent i can get to 1700 1800s but 1800 i think i, I touched the 1900s one time and that was on my main account uh either logan Underfire or paraman genie um, so just looking at the team preview, Scarf Superior can go to work again as long as I can take out that Latios or Latias, I'm sorry. Um, so just seeing from the team matchup, if he leads with Grin, I'm pretty much about to get bum plugged. So I'm gonna start off with Rotom Wash just to see what I can what I can do. Latias comes in. Latias doesn't really appreciate Magierna. Uh he went ahead and tricked me to choice scarf item. Uh, nothing really. He has no um, Flora Cannon switch in, so I'm just going to go ahead and fire that off. Did a nice hefty amount of damage. Um, I'm just going to go straight into Lando. He went for the Ice Punch. Good play on his behalf. Uh, from here... Uh, from here, I can really just go into... I can go back into Mag. He doesn't have a switch in, so I'm gonna just go back into Mag, hit him with another Flurry Cannon, and this should KO um, this Mawile. If he switches into anything else, Greninja's not a switch in, Latias is not a switch in, Cartana, I don't know. This Lando is gonna take a lot. 11% left. And I think this is his Stealth Rock user, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit him with another one. Uh, he might go into Cartana here, so my number one play into Cartana um, is Volcarona. It is that bulky set that I just showed you, so we'll go into Volk, see what we can do here. He went for the knock. I'm going to just take this time to quiver up. Uh, if he switches into that Greninja, I can just hit him with the... Um, yeah, I'll outspeed him. Hit him with that Z-Fire. Let's calc to see... Um, how much this is going to do so let's go here damage calculator let me go to Volcarona I don't think I have any um, sub swarm set I don't think I have any uh, attack investment let's type in Greninja and I think this is going to be the choice specs ash version but I'm going to just use choice scar for now and let's go to plus one. And do I have any? I have no special attack. So I'm at 306 plus one. So let's go back. So boom, 306 plus one. Uh, Z move is going to be right here. Inferno Overdrive should KO. So I'm going to just hit him with that and see what it does. He went for the Shuriken. Um, he can't really touch me, so I'm going to take the time to quiver back on up. 
and he got me with a five hitter so that's that down goes <sighs> that was pretty disappointing but down goes the uh my only hope of beating this guy unless I go back in the mag I'm gonna go back in the mag just fire off a of flur cannon and then hopefully uh hopefully I can KO this guy whatever he switches in can't take a floor cannon so um this looks like the most optimal play stall is coming I guess so so um yeah man LeBron just went to the Lakers that's crazy I really don't know how my team is gonna fare uh, when facing the Lakers, my, I'm a Boston fan. I know we're going to the finals, but against the Lakers, LeBron has always pretty much had our number since Paul Pierce left. So um, it's definitely going to be interesting. He went for the healing wish. I get that uh, that Magierna boost. And then with that being said, I don't think he can KO me. So I'm just going to go straight for that T bull. And then uh, I should get a couple couple KOs with this T-Boat. He switches into Alakazam. Alakazam gets two hit KO'd. Now I'm at plus two looking really good. In comes the Cartana. I'm just going to go ahead and go straight for that T-Boat. Hit him with it. He went for that knockoff. That's all fine. And Danny hit him with another T-Boat. That was pretty bad on his behalf. And just like that, he forfeited. So let's go ahead and upload just in case if you guys want to study my, my matches. And then let's find another one. I'm really on a roll. I normally lose within like the first four. So I might lose this one. The gross nuts. So just looking at his team preview, um, if that's a salt vest tornadoes, then I have to take that guy out if I want to sweep with Serp. Uh, if that's a salt vest Magierna, then I have to take that guy out. So either way, I need to get both rid of both of them. Um, good thing Volcarona has um, a good defense. Because I can kind of set up on that Landorus or that Zygarde, if that's not bad at Zygarde. Um, and uh, nothing really wants to take a Z Fire EM uh, overdrive. So just looking at his team preview, I could leave with the Rotom. Uh, Rotom is a safe, safe bet. So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, mute this guy, ignore him. And I lead off with the Rotom. So in comes the Greninja. Greninja might do some uh, shenanigans with some spikes or toxic spikes. So I'm just going to go straight for that Hydro Pump just to see what type of Greninja he is. He goes into Zygarde. He probably predicted the Volt Switch. But of course, I didn't go for the Volt Switch. So uh, at this juncture, um, is Thousand Arrows super effective? I'm just going to go straight into Lando as he goes for the Thousand. And um, with that, I can go ahead and get up my rocks and get my rocks off. He goes back into Grin. Grin does his thing. Um, just predicting the Hydro Pump. And he could go for the Dark Pulse just, you know, on a whim. I think that's Ash Greninja right there. Um, I can just sack off my Lando because Lando doesn't really serve a purpose except for that Zygar check. But I'm going to just sack Lando. U-turn. Good prediction. He goes to Tornadus. Um, it looks like it's a Salt Vest version. Um, so, that being said, I can go into Magierna and just get off a of T-Boat. Now, if he does decide to switch out and go to mag, his own mag, then, I mean, that's not bad. Or he may predict a T-boat and go in a Lando, but I could also Ice Beam him, so that wouldn't be a really smart move. So, I'm just predicting the Magierna. Oh, he didn't. He went for Defog. Um, very situational play there. Very questionable play there as well in comes the Lando that is his rocker so it may be an offensive variant I'm thinking more so defensive so I'm just gonna go straight for that Fleur Cannon he went for the HP ice uh, probably predicting me to switch into my own Lando and easy as that you know I really didn't have Maggie Arena already served his purpose by taking out the Tornadoes um, with the T-Boat 
Lando wishes to give me. I was giving him my Maggie Erna, and actually Maggie Erna is running the Shucka Berry, so I take that anyway, so I wasn't really fearing it, so um, either way, he was going to lose his Lando, and he already lost his Tornadoes, so it would have been Maggie Erna, my whole six versus his Maggie Erna, Zygarde, Lele, and Ninja. Really, once that Magierna is gone, Serp just goes to work. So I'm gonna just go ahead and um and end it off right here. It was a couple good matches. Um and uh expect more from me. This is my return. I'm gonna play a little bit more and um you all have a have a great day, man. Thank you.